check this out. We've had some pretty big floods recently. It's really nice, um, really nice, um, electric lounge. Man, I'm tempted. It's soaking wet. I'm sure it'll scrub up really nice. We've got a single seater here. Man, it's so tempting. But um, I have nowhere to put it, really. Who knows? <laughs> What's the... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I could come... I might actually grab this one here and uh, stick it in the car and suss it out when I get home, plug it in. <laughs> And um, maybe tomorrow I come back for the rest. Who knows? But yeah, it's going to be a lot of a lot of furniture thrown out. What's going on here? I think that yeah, that's just coming off that mark. Man, I reckon this would be worth a fair bit of coin, a lot of money. Anyway, let's see what happens. Ah, <laughs> look what I got. How cool is that? I didn't get the whole thing. Um, I just, I could fit in three pieces. I've got three pieces. The other piece is in the car. I haven't pulled it out yet. But I've got these two smaller pieces out because I can actually carry these quite easily. Um, I have to go back tomorrow and get two more pieces. I have to get the single recliner and I have to get the last piece, which is the biggest bit of this lounge. It's the, the chase, the part with the the long, long foot rest where you can kind of lie down. Um, loving it. Guys, it's so comfortable. Even though it's wet, I just sat on that. Oh, man, it is so much more comfortable than my red seats. Um, yeah, it's soaking. It's really wet, but that's okay. I mean, this is leather. Um, it doesn't look like it's discoloring. There's no wrinkles. There is. It just, I mean, unless you touched it, you wouldn't even know that it's wet. So I'm just going to let this dry out. And then once it's dried out, I'll clean it somehow. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, I'm loving it. It's so perfect. Um, I opened this when I got home. And inside there, what do you think I found? I found this. It's this beautiful, it's this beautiful um, knitted wool. That feels really nice. It's, it's dry. It's completely dry. And it doesn't smell or anything. Um, I'll clean it anyway, but um, it's like a knitted blanket. Oh, I love that. It's probably worth a bit. But um, yeah, that's a really nice find as well. But uh, this is awesome. I mean, you know, it, it, I can't use it in my cinema. It's the wrong shape and everything. But um, I was hoping I could use this in my man cave. But um, the chase is on the wrong side. That sucks. But uh, to be honest, I'll keep an eye out. You never know. I might find another one that has a chase on the right side. But um, yeah, so the deal is, it's an electronic, it's an electric motors, an electric recliner. Beautiful little buttons, they feel great. Um, I, I couldn't find the power adapter up there, although I didn't really look very hard. Um, I was more, I was kind of expecting to have a plug that <laughs> you just plugged in the wall, but that's not the deal. So um, I did have a look on eBay, and on eBay, um, they're like 20 bucks and they seem very generic so that's a really cool thing I'll just buy one or two because I think I'm gonna need two one for this lounge and another one for the recliner but I'll get one first of all and just see if it all works properly um, yeah I mean it's beautiful I really really like it uh, so the deal is I had to leave two up there two pieces um, the chase part to this lounge and the um, the recliner, the single recliner. I'll go and grab those tomorrow. I did um, kind of wheel them around to the back of the, the, the pile of, you know, all the um, lounges and so forth. There's a massive big pile, you probably saw it. Um, I, I put them behind so they wouldn't get pushed by the bulldozer because the bulldozer will go up tomorrow morning and just kind of um, even things out because they're gonna be a lot of people dumping stuff tomorrow because we've had these floods. So I'm glad I've saved those two. Uh, they shouldn't be. They should be fine tomorrow. Um, I just have to get there before it rains. But it doesn't even matter if it rains because they're already wet. 
So yeah, how cool is that? I'm loving it. Um, I'm kind of excited about getting the other pieces, even though I don't know where I'm going to put them. I mean, I should get rid of this, but oh, listen, I'll work it out. That's my talent in this place is squeezing stuff in. But um, yeah, how good is that? Two thousand dollars. I had a look. I found it. I found the exact, um, you know, model and so forth online. About two grand, or twenty three hundred, or something like that for the entire. Um, lounge suite and then you've got the recliner on top of that so you're probably looking at about three grand for the lot I'd say maybe I don't know yeah probably but anyway guys that's awesome um, well I'll see you in the next scene I'll even um, bring you with me as well and we'll see if we can uh, get those other you know pieces in the car I've got some people picking up clothes dryers early tomorrow morning but I want to get to the dump before they rock up so it's going to be an early start for me Dry my dump lounge with my dump fans. <laughs> it's virtually dry. It is basically dry. I've been sitting in it and everything. It's great. Just a little bit damp on the on these bits here. Everything else is completely dry. And this one is definitely a lot dirtier. But don't worry. It'll look amazing when I'm finished with it. It's just damp, it's not overly wet anymore. But uh, the cool part is, the sun's out. How good is that? We weren't expecting sun this weekend. So I'm just gonna leave this here for a little while. Yeah, the back, you can see the back's a bit darker, so that's wet. Um, that's awesome. Okay, I've got two more pieces I have to go and grab. We'll go together, see if we can get them in the car. One's really long, so I'm going to have a bit of trouble doing it, but that's okay. <laughs> I've lifted bigger things. Right, they're still here, and they're very dry, so I'm very happy about that. Let's get him in the car. Ah, come on.
please fit. Please fit. Oh, yes. Let's get out of here. Check out these cool fans that I found. I reckon they'll help us um, dry it out. Although it already looks pretty dry now. There we go. So we're in my neighbor's house next door. I'm just gonna leave them here for a bit. I've got a girl, you know, driving like two hours to pick up a clothes dry now. So I've got to go and get ready, but we'll finish this video up very soon.
Let's try this out. In fact, I'll hold you. Have a look at this. Yep. Wow, there you go. Definitely happy with, uh, with that. There you go, what do you think? I have another home theatre lounge. And uh, guess what? I'm keeping it. Uh, I'm gonna keep both sets. I'm gonna keep my red leather seats. I can't get rid of those because it's taken me such a long time to collect them all. And the fact that I've got them all for $12 each, you know, that's what it works out to be. I'm not getting rid of them. But I love this. This is actually what I envisaged 
to have in my cinema. Something like this, uh, or very similar to this. Uh, this is basically what I wanted. Not the red seats. They were going to be. They were going to be temporary. But um, I can't get rid of this because I love it. Um, and oh, it hasn't. There is not a single single mark on it. There isn't a single bit of wear on it. It's like they've just come out of the box. Remember this? There was a, a line down there. I got rid of it. It just came out while I was, you know, wet vacuuming it. Did you see me working that Brytex vacuum cleaner thing? Man, they are amazing. I mean, I'll tell you now, I've actually had these seats for probably almost three weeks, I reckon. I would have got these almost three weeks ago. Um, it looks like I've just picked them up. Uh, but no, I've had them for three weeks. I let them all dry and I've been using them in the cinema. They've just been pushed up against my red seats there. And uh, I'll tell you now, I, they didn't seem dirty to me. They didn't feel dirty. They didn't smell. They just seemed like really nice seats. But um, after I've actually used that wet vac, they kind of feel a little bit more, I don't know, more nice, I guess you could say. Um, they, they feel, I don't know, they, they don't smell any different. Um, they just kind of feel, and they do look different. Because one thing that I noticed is when they dried after they were rained on, you remember I found them and they were wet. Um, I keep saying remember, but for me, it was such a long time ago, but for you, it was just a few minutes ago. But they were wet, and when they dried, you didn't see this, but when they dried, they kind of all around the seams here, they kind of went wrinkly um, and kind of pleaty like that, if you know what I'm saying. But um, now that I've cleaned them with the, that wet vacuum upholstery thing, they've dried perfectly and I'm I'm more than happy now I love the way they they look so I'm keeping them the problem is storing them so I need to find somewhere to put them so what I've decided you're gonna laugh I'm gonna have two sets of home cinema seats my red seats they're just going to be what I normally have in here but what I'm sitting on right now what I've just found um, in Australia, we have these cinemas called Gold Class. Um, this is going to be my Gold Class seating. And uh, I'll pull these out every now and then. Every now and then when the kids aren't around, my niece and nephew and their friends and so forth, um, I will pull these out and just kind of, you know, veg out in luxury, if you know what I mean. I do want to find another one. I'm hoping that I can find another set exactly the same as this. But with the Chase, that's what I'm sitting on here. On the opposite side and uh, then I'm gonna actually in the next episode I think I'll you know put these on the back row and I'll bring you along and we'll kind of place them and I'll, I'll show you my idea I'd like to get you know by the way remember there's actually another piece it's up it's up on my deck have a look at this check out this um, bit of footage it's up there remember this seat that you're looking at now is the one that I pulled out of my van on the road and that was the dirty one that was the one that had mud and dirt and dust and sawdust and crap I think it even had rust on it so yeah that was the dirty one and it scrubbed up it looks like it's brand new it looks like it was out of the box I'm stoked I love them so yeah, I don't know what what I can say. So these actually cost, uh, I think it was $3,300. That's how much somebody paid for them. And I know now, I know now why they threw it out, the entire thing. Uh, check this out. See the recliner? It works. It's so quiet. It's so silent. But the problem is, the problem is, it only works intermittently. So I can use this for a while, but then all of a sudden it'll stop. But the problem is almost all the seats are exactly like that. The one that I just showed you on the on the deck, it the, the, the motor inside is broken as well. The motor's okay, it's actually the circuitry. I think there's some relays or it's a capacitor issue, but um, it's something that I can fix and I'll probably fix that in maybe the next video in regards to these things or the one after that. But uh, that recliner that I showed that you saw, that over there, exactly the same thing. That it, it doesn't work at all now. It was working before, but it doesn't work at all. Um, I've tested it with multiple you know, power bricks and it, it's the same with all of them. So I just can't understand how they could all go at once. That just sounds weird to me. I, 
But um, obviously there's a problem in this model, in the actuators with the motors. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully you never know, you might see, I might see another set at the dump or cheap on Marketplace and I can pick those up and uh, get some more happening for my gold class seating. But uh, that's it guys, I'm gonna call it. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. I have, it's, I didn't expect to get these. But um, when you see something like, and they looked shit, didn't they? They looked pretty crappy at the dump. You kind of have to be a bit of a dump rat and look past all of that crap and just see the potential in things. And I've got pretty good at that. And I'm glad I picked them up because they look brand spanking new. They feel amazing. They smell great and uh, no regrets. So there you go. I've got a second set of home cinema seats. So that's it guys. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.